Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Discover, and here is a list of some reasons why a 90 Day Fiancé could be coming to an end. Legal Trouble The show has faced some serious legal issues during its run and has been dodging them since the start. One of the show's participants, Mark Shoemaker, didn't like the way the editors portrayed him on screen, all mean and a total douche. He took the production company to the court and tried suing them big time, however the judge threw the case away as the company brought forth the contract where it's clearly mentioned that the editors reserve all the rights to portray the characters as they prefer. Another participant named Mendez also claimed that the show portrayed him as the guy who was mean to his partner and that was just utterly false. While they technically do stand their point, it's ethically unacceptable to treat people that way to boost ratings by exploiting emotions. The audiences have been slowly realizing and the participants have also taken the matter to the media, court, and the show has been predicted to nosedive into troubles coming from the legal sector. Guess what? They got arrested. <laughs> Not one time, but three times. Three times? But I can explain. Stage scenes. Well, it's no secret that reality TV shows tend to be entirely scripted and reality is only a false sense of human emotions delivered to the audience. 90 Day Fiancé is no different in its direction and the couples featured on the show have been mostly together for a long time before getting on the show. Not to say that the entire show is acted out, but the producers do their best to keep the set picture perfect and add in elements to enhance the drama any way they possibly can. The producers have allegedly asked the couples to reshoot things often and even add and remove pieces of dialogue that they think would go well with the show's reputation. The result is the reduction in sincerity and overall increased drama which even fails to impress the audience and falls flat because the supposed amoral relations fail big time. An example of this was Luis Mendez who entered the show in season 5, didn't maintain the quiet and made a huge scene by taking it to social media. Mendez claimed that the producers altered his scenes and made him appear as the bad guy whereas he was not nearly as mean in real life. You want to give me the big tour? So I know where do I go to the bathroom in here? It's the bathroom, it's here. Um... Oh. The number of divorces is implausible. The producers have been long trying to hide their manipulative lies by giving out false information about the show's statistics. The executive producer, Matt Sharp, told the audience that only three divorces happen in every 25 couples. The audience called him out on that and did the research to find out the actual numbers. Their facts conveniently ignored the couples who never got married or got separated after the filming stopped. And the fans pointed out the faux pas stats and the producers had to face big backlashes which ruined the show's reputation and the caused the ratings to plummet. We've been married for six months and it feels good. Why are you saying it like that? How? I hate being married to George. Green card with no citizenship. The show runs on the basic presumption that the participants get their US citizenship surefire if they ended up getting together. However, that's nowhere close to reality. As any reasonable person would understand, the US doesn't hand out citizenship to couples who hopelessly fall in love. While some couples do manage to get their green cards on a temporary basis with heavy restrictions imposed, they still have to wait two years until they receive proper citizenship and there's no guarantee that they would end up getting the full citizenship with no restrictions. If they fail to get it, the review process is the way to go, which is filled with multiple examinations and interviews. Not to mention, it requires another three years of waiting. This is another issue that could add up to with others to cause the show to sink for good. So what other values do you look for in a man? Citizenship. <laughs> ah, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> the application process. The application process to enter the show is flawed, to say the least. It allows the local scammers to find their way in through many loopholes. Although the producers like to believe that their team is great at sifting out the scammers, but it doesn't always go as planned. Many couples have managed to fool the background checkers and eventually got their 15 minutes of fame and a few bucks out of it. The audience was naturally bummed as it affected the PR of the producers heavily. The producers have put their guards up since the producers have also been improved. The producers also cherry pick couples who they think are well fitted to follow the directions and have a relationship filled with drama that would attract viewers. However, the audience sees through it and is likely to put an end to the non-genuine show. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I am sure you will love them. With that, I will see you in the next video.